I just have to put hey. some. Oh. Yeah, just a quick little uh, thing. We're just going to do some muscles around the lower back to help to strengthen them. Just did a VLA. Unfortunately, the inflammation is probably, it's close to highest it's ever been in your body. And there's something called the, um, there's something called the phase angle. And it's fairly important after cancer to have it up over four. And yours is 5.17. So under four tends to mean that the cancer's returned, but yours is 5.1, so that's really good. Basically, you don't want it under four. Well, I yeah. have no idea what it is, but no, I wouldn't. No, Cal, it's tummy? to do with, so, no, no, I'll just, I'll, I'll just. my tummy. Just means that I have to put my hands in the right place under my chest. That's all right, I'll test some muscles, because I just want to make sure these muscles are nice and strong, supporting that lower back. So firstly, the latissimus dorsi. So hold in, don't let me go out. No, that one's fine. Hold in, don't let me come out. That one's good. Okay, so the next one, I'm going to check the muscles around the pelvic girdle. Relax. <laughs> and hold up for me. Okay. And hold up for me. Okay, these ones are to do with kidneys. Hold up. And hold up. Okay, so they're not optimal. That's some of what the Brock shots will be helping. Then I remember to take them. Yep, so Brock shots just help you detoxify in general. But because you've been in so much pain for the last year, or you know, nine months, um, your body will just be in that constant state of fear all the time as well in relation to new pains. I hate a new pain. Yes, that's why when I got those pains in my back and they thought it might be kidney stones. Hold up, and hold up, good. And hold, and hold, good. Now I'm going to do the fasciolata on the outside. I'll just make sure the femurs are in, hold up for me, and hold up, no, that one's good. So, this one, hold up for me, coming down and in, okay, that's not working. Hold up, coming down and in, no. And now hold on to the edges of the table, and I'm gonna check the lower back muscle, the quadratus lumborum, hold out, don't let me push to the left, okay. Hold out, don't let me pull to the right. Yeah, it's not so bad. But these ones on the outside of the, uh, these ones aren't optimal. Well, I'm not surprised with this going to physio because that hip was so bad, Lord. And the knee. Mm, yeah. Again, hold up, that's better. And hold up, good, good. Uh, put the, bend the knees. Hold the knees together, don't let me push apart. Perfect, let the knees fall out, don't let me pull in, hold. No, nope, they're good. Legs straight up, hold up for me. Okay, so that's your glutes, not optimal, hold up, okay. Where are glutes? Uh, your butt muscles. Cool. One of my Facebook friends yesterday had a uh, earthquake where he is. I think he's in Indonesia at the moment. Maybe yes, Indonesia used to be part of Singapore, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, right. Anyway, apparently it was 6.9, the earthquake. Six point something on the Richter scale was really bloody awful. Mm. Anyway, so I say to him, hold on to your butts, which is quoting Jurassic Park, of course. <laughs> he said, I was holding on to the walls, actually. <laughs> and hold up for me, that's better. Hold up for me, beautiful. Just check, there's one here called the sartorius. Let's just have a look at that. So bend the leg. Does that mean I dress good? <laughs> <laughs> Glorious sartorius. Hold, don't let me lift and straighten. Hold, no, that one's fine. And hold, no, rock solid. 
How are your knees these days? I think that they're getting treated at the physio as So well. they're doing better? Good. Let's just take the popliteus behind the knee. Hold down, don't let me lift up. Oh. Mm, that one's not optimal. It's not, not terrible. Hold down, don't let me lift up. Mm. That hip is probably sore. Yeah. I have that muscle. Hold bit. in, don't let me lift up. Oh. That one's fine. Hold in, don't let me lift up. Okay. Let me just sort of do a little, quick little um, stress circuit with that. Yeah, there's some fear in there around that. Those muscles, they don't want to be hurt. What a surprise. <laughs> yeah, so once your BMI gets down a bit further, that'll lower the inflammation. Because as a very general rule, the HCG diet's very anti-inflammatory when it's done correctly. Mm. And it's probably three, four kilos, you know, before your BMI is under 30 again. Yes. It's all good. Yeah. You'll get there. Sore in there? Oh. Always? Probably. Ah, yes it is. That would be back calf muscles I was talking about. Yeah. No, the calf muscles are always to do with stress. Are they? Um, yeah. Well, particularly the adrenals. And the adrenal glands make 62 hormones, both stress and pain hormones. So if they're busy making a lot of pain hormones at the moment, Is that to give me more pain? <laughs> well, we actually make our own natural steroids in the body when things are working that are supposed to help support our pain levels down to a manageable level. But a lot of what we do medication-wise stops the adrenals doing that. Yes, well certainly I've had some painkillers, a lot mm. of painkillers. Yeah, absolutely. To get by. I'm sure you do better if you're breathing too, but I've got sinus. At least if everyone farts and we go past five <laughs> truckloads of pigs, I won't know or care. Uh, you don't have many pig growers in the area, though. Yeah. It's more likely to be chooks or cattle. Or horses. Horses pee is bloody awful smell. <laughs> Um, oh, I think that's all the major muscles. Let's just make sure your shoulders are in. Hopefully they are with the physio you're doing. Hold, perfect. Not sure he's doing relax, my, relax, relax. Not sure he's doing my shoulders. Okay, hold, I'm pushing towards your head. I'm pushing towards your left and I'm pulling towards me. No, they're all good. Let me check the just side. sore. I can do so it. So they all, all hurt. Everything that I'm told to do, I can do. Mm-hmm. But that's because I'm a very Hold. magnificent actress and I Hold. have a pig. Hold. I get it. Hold in, don't let me pull up. Good. I've been dropping things, though. So. Ah, I've got the old attack of the dropsies again. Hold in. They're pretty good. Fingers to thumb to pinky. Yeah, right, no. And this one. And hold. No. Drop yeah, so the nerve, is, the nerve isn't getting down through your wrists. And sometimes when I'm tired... But you're you know, having to do all the heavy work, you what? know, like groceries and that sort of thing. Well, on that arm I don't. This arm is my carrying arm. Mm -hmm. Tell everyone, this one is for hitting people. This one is for carrying <laughs> people. <laughs> I haven't had anyone for a while. <laughs> and again, thumb to pinky, that's better. Thumb to ring finger. Thumb to middle finger. Relax. That's it. These two. And hold, and a pointer. Relax, and a pointer. Oh, beautiful. Waiting to get back in the pool. So, you think I'm going to swim with these shoulders? Hold together. I haven't been in the pool for years. Not dog paddling. 
Every so often I think I'll go for filled in the last about a month. Yeah, right. The thought or the action? <laughs> I usually buy a season ticket for the rest of the year, my intentions are good. But still after about a month I Lose enthusiasm? Well, sometimes I lose enthusiasm yeah. and three oh. times you go down and there's old. a swimming club or something on oh. and you can't, and you haven't got, you haven't woken up that it'll be on. Yeah, right. A bit like when you go to a power talk meeting or a rope. Doug and I went to a lot of rope meetings at one stage when they changed the venue without telling us. <laughs> I'm not sure how. I remember going to the meat work sometimes on days when they were on strike. And I was a bit pissed off about it because I would have never got up early just for the hell of it. And um, then I found out if you wanted to know if you're going on strike, and I would have thought you should have had a fair warning oh. that something was wrong before they decided to go on strike. You're supposed to go down to the railway. No, I think it might have been the railway hotel. Sorry, you did, didn't give me the instruction that I could work on for that. I was asking the body about cancer and cancer cells and any genetic damage that's... Um... I wonder my brain did a freak out even if it didn't know. Yeah, there's fear. No surprise, fear of cancer. I would think after the last nine months of my fear of operations might equal it. Mm, absolutely. <laughs> My fear of chemo might equal it too. Yeah. Yeah, so that's just activated the reticular activating system to... Explains. To assume that you're going to have long-term stress for the rest of your life and it's stopping you from being able to relax. So basically the tension in there expecting pain in your body is stopping the serotonin being released from your gut. Oh, so it wouldn't matter if I... I mean, this has been the worst time on God's earth. Normally, you go out with friends and laugh at the stupid things they say or we say. Yeah. What are you doing now? No bastards allowed to talk. No one's getting any serotonin. Of course there's suicides held west and crooked. Mm -hmm. People need to talk to each other. and no, It doesn't work the same if you're sitting there giggling at something on Facebook or something in a house all by yourself, well, you feel like a right proper freaking jerk. Yeah, it's not the same. It's not. Whereas if there's a couple of people, even if you say, listen, ha, listen to this, and you laugh together. Yeah. You know, I have a good old belly laugh. Mm hmm Or a smirk, or tell each other you bloody jackasses. Totally. God, my gut is a bloody noxious piece of goods. Okay. Okay, so that's all the face up ones. So yeah, there wasn't a lot of support. You know, these little guys weren't working, these ones supporting here and here weren't working. Yeah, and then it was more stress associated with it. Interesting. Okay, see you again. <laughs> Is that done?